the latest item that I've purchased from Maine Military. That's Maine is in the state of Maine, M-A-I-N-E, MaineMilitary.com. These are military surplus German stoves. They weigh five ounces each. Uh, Maine Military sells these for uh, $2.50 a piece. I see these uh, for sale at gun shows for $5 each. $2.50 at Maine Military, and with as with many items, if you buy in quantity, you get a good discount. I got five stoves for $10 at Maine Military, so I got these for $2 a piece. These are good little stoves for your bug out bags. This is how they work. Pulls apart like this. You fold these, and there you have your stove. And you rest your, your cooking pot or your... Um, your mess kit on top here. All right, they come with these fuel tablets. Each stove comes with 12. For $2 a piece, you can't beat it. Five ounces, this is how it folds up. This part right here folds on top. Slides together. easily fits in your shirt pocket. Now for a demonstration. <clears throat> and this is the first time that I've used this stove. So, I'm learning along with you We'll try one fuel tablet. Here's my mess kit. My pot fits right on here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one cup of cold water to my pot. And water will of course heat quicker if you have a lid on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a cup of tea. We'll see how long it takes to get that water up to temperature. Okay, this has been burning for about between five and ten minutes. That water is boiling. So that takes about five minutes for this to heat water to the point where you can make tea. Drop my tea bag in. Put a couple of leaves of stevia in there for sweetener. This is dried stevia, which I grew and dried myself. Flame's still burning good. One fuel tablet is definitely enough to boil a pot of water. As a matter of fact, it's more than enough. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. 
the flame is almost extinguished very little residue left by this stove this is just one one of the 12 fuel tablets that comes in the kit now most of the time when you use uh, something like this of course you aren't going to be cooking for a long time uh, what I'm going to be doing is using freeze-dried food and really all I need to do is uh, is heat it up and uh, I think this little stove is great. I think this is the fire is out, the water boiled. I think this is a perfect, perfect bug out bag stove. Five ounces with 12 fuel tablets. Tea is done. Can't beat it. And when you're done, allow the stove to cool. Put the remaining 11 fuel tablets back in. and you're good to go. You survivalists and preppers out there know that survival supplies can be quite expensive and you want to get a lot for your money so that your money will go a long ways. You want to save your money of course for the really essential items like water filters, uh, long-term food storage, and of course you want some so that you can put away some gold and silver so you don't want to spend all of your money on expensive supplies and one way you can do that is by buying military surplus and as you can see from my videos I make use of a lot of military surplus products uh, you already paid for these uh, items when you paid your taxes so why not take advantage of it here are a couple of other items I bought like most of the military surplus that I have, I bought these from Maine Military. Uh, that's Maine as in the state of Maine, M-A-I-N-E. Uh, the website is mainemilitary.com. These are backpack covers. And as you can see, I have the desert camo, and uh, currently uh, that's the only thing that they have in stock. They don't have the woodland camo. But um, I got these for $2 a piece. As you can see, I have two of these here. One is on my wife's bug out bag, which is a uh, medium Alice pack. The other is on my bug out bag, which is a large Alice pack. This is how they fit. They have this elastic band around them. And what these are is these are rain covers, uh, the water resistance, so that when it rains on you, uh, when you're wearing your uh, your pack, uh, the water doesn't run into all the different uh, packets uh, pockets. As you can see, it also covers the uh, sleeping bag here, with the, in the sleeping bag cover. Here's mine, large Alice pack. It is very tight fit on mine uh, because for one thing I have a tent on my bug out bag. Uh, it doesn't completely cover the um, sleeping bag cover but that's okay. This is Gore-Tex and this is waterproof anyway. But it covers most of the backpack. Two dollars a piece at Main Military. You can't hardly beat that. As a matter of fact you can't beat that anywhere. Here are just a few of the other great deals I got for Maine Military. I talked about these in another video. This is the sleeping bag carrier strap that fits on the bottom of your Alice pack or your uh, Molly pack. Uh, a lot of the items you buy at uh, Maine Military, you can um, 
uh, save a lot of money if you get them in qu quantity. I don't remember exactly what I paid for this, but I remember uh, that I bought them in quantity. I believe I got them for like about $2 a piece by buying 10. So the Viralis Credo is one is none, and two is one, and more than two, of course, is even better. This is one of uh, my favorite items. Again, buying these in uh, quantity. Uh, these gloves are uh, these are wool. These are mitten liners made to go into these mittens. All right, the uh, regular price on these are three dollars a piece, and uh, I bought them. I think I, I bought ten for um, and got them for like two dollars a piece when you buy them in quantity. All right, these are made to go inside these uh, mittens. These are um, very high quality mittens. This is genuine soft leather. As you can see it has the uh, trigger finger there. Now when it's not real cold you can wear these without the liner but they're made to be worn with the liners. All right, now currently the only ones they have in our uh, main military are medium. These are medium liners and these are medium mittens. And um, I'm uh, uh, five feet, nine inches tall and uh, these fit me perfectly. Uh, if you have a big hand, these might not fit you. The instructions in here, how to use them. They come with this cord so that you can run the cord through your coat so that when you take off your mittens you won't lose them. Now according to the instructions, of course this is your trigger finger. According to the instructions when it's very cold and if you're, you don't need the trigger finger you can slip your finger out and put all four fingers in this part because if you keep your fingers together they will stay warmer. You can even slip your thumb out and put your hand together like this to keep it warm when you're not using your thumb and finger. As you can see it has the gauntlet which comes up um, high so that you aren't, you aren't going to get snow and water in your mitten. You can tighten this down right here and uh, these are very high quality and um, I don't know how much these would cost if you bought these in the store. They'd be very expensive because this is very high quality leather. Uh, but I got these when you again when you buy them in quantity and the quantity to get a discount on these is to buy three. And um, you see these for sale in gun, sh gun shows like $15 a piece. And uh, for main military buying three, I got three for $15. These I think I paid probably about a dollar a piece for when I bought them in quantity. You want to have, you're supposed to have two of these with each uh, mitten, I mean two, two pairs with each mitten and that way when one gets wet you can take it off and put the other one on. These are just a few of the items that I bought from Maine Military and um, uh, other items I bought are the uh, gas masks. Here are the finish gas mask that I bought from a military. I've done a whole video on these gas masks so I'm not going to go into detail here. These are freeze dried foods that I keep in this pack because I have extra room in here. And it's a new filter. These are 60 millimeter threads so I buy the adapter so that I can use the standard NATO 40 millimeter threads on this gas mask. These are sold, adapters are sold separately. And I've had um, people comment on these gas masks and they say these gas masks are old and they're not any good. Well guess what? You are wrong. These, uh, these gas masks are perfectly fine. As you can see the rubber is nice, good, pliable condition. Uh, the filters are, I believe these uh, I believe these are from around the um, 1990s uh, time frame and people tell me that you know these gas masks aren't they're old and they're not any good well they are wrong these filters and these masks are perfectly fine 
These are activated carbon filters and particle uh, and particle filters, and these do not go bad as long as they are kept sealed. And there's rubber seal on here. These are kept airtight. They stay good for many decades. And there's nothing wrong with these. Of course, no filter is going to protect you from everything, but these will protect you from uh, with the particle filter. It will even uh, filter out. Um, Part, most most of the particles from uh, like plutonium from a uh, nuclear uh, power plant accident or something like that. Um, the carbon filter in there will remove most uh, gases, and you know you can you can uh, I paid uh, ten dollars a piece from these. I think now prices do change. Of course, I think now they're selling these for like twenty dollars a piece with a new filter. Um, Depending on uh, when you buy these, sometimes they come with the cases and sometimes they don't. But um, there's no, these are very good filters. They're very economical. You can go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a gas mask filter if you don't, if you want to. I don't want to. And uh, before you leave your comments on using a gas mask with a beard, uh, my uh, comment to you is don't bother. I understand using a beard with a gas mask and you know if you're real concerned about a beard wearing a beard with a gas mask then what I suggest you do is shave. This is Survival Doc reminding you be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.